Friday is September 11th. We're gonna do a 9-11 memorial workout called Never Forget. To warm up, we're doing two rounds, 30 seconds rowing. In the workout, we have a long 2,001 meter row. So I wanna to try to dial in a maintainable uh, stroke rate. For ladies, we usually recommend about 24 to 28 strokes per minute. That's that bottom left number on the uh, big display on the rower. So try to hold that stroke rate. Gentlemen, 22 to 25. Ladies, 24 to 28. Will be sustainable for that long 2K. After you finish your 30 second row, 30 seconds of squat to stands. Did you say 2K or 1K? In the workout, it's a 2K. 2K? 2K. Oh, God. Okay. Squat to stand. Squat stance, feet at shoulder width, toes turned out slightly. Holding on to the toes, you're going to sit down into a full squat. Then push your hips up to stretch the hamstrings. 30 seconds alternating between these two positions. Then you're going into a hollow hold. Lay down on the ground. Keep the feet squeezed together. Let's try to get the shoulder blades off the ground. We'll check on the video if it's there. Yep, shoulder blades up. And then finish with single leg glute bridges. 30 seconds per side. Laying on the floor, stay there. One foot's extended straight out in front of you. Single leg glute bridge. It's falling apart, we're already on Friday. 30 seconds on each leg. It's super challenging with the single leg glute bridge to actually get the hip all the way extended. So let's really try to focus on that hip extension at the top. So two rounds, 30 seconds per position. Then we'll go through the comp train barbell warm up. Click the link at the top of the screen there. And then we'll move into our mobility. Grab a barbell, 45 seconds in the ankle stretch. You're gonna place that dumbbell or that barbell just above the knees on the thighs, lean forward and let that barbell drive your knees a little bit forward to get that ankle stretch at the bottom. You can kind of shift side to side to target one ankle at a time once you're comfortable down there. Then we have a wall turn back stretch. You're gonna stretch out the biceps and chest to get ready for all these strict pull-ups we're about to do. You'll have your hand extended Fingers are pointing back behind you, and then you're gonna rotate your body in the opposite direction, stretching out. The Never Forget Workout is a 2,001 meter row buy-in. For the home gym variation, you're gonna go with a 2,001 meter run. After that, you're going directly into four rounds, nine clusters. A cluster is a squat clean into a thruster. So the barbell starts on the floor, clean it, pass through a full squat. As you stand up out of your squat, you're going to drive the hips to extension and press the barbell overhead. Nine squat clean thrusters. If you don't have access to a barbell, you're gonna perform that same movement with a pair of dumbbells. The dumbbells, single side touches the ground, clean them to your shoulders, full squat, and press to extension overhead. After your nine clusters, you're doing 11 strict pull-ups. Hang from the bar with the hands just wider than the shoulders. Lean back slightly as you pull your chin up and over the bar at the top. You can scale by using a band or performing ring rows. After Friday's 9-11 workout, we're gonna do some strict gymnastics following the standard CrossFit rep scheme, 21 reps of each, 15 reps of each, and nine reps of each. We're doing strict handstand push-ups. Last, week. last week she did only one. We're gonna see if we can get more. You're gonna lower your head until it touches the ground. Press up to extension. Real challenge is keeping the midline tight and not letting yourself over arch as you press out of these reps. So break those into small sets because 45 is a large volume of reps. Then we're doing strict toes to bar. You're gonna hang from the bar with the hands just wider than the shoulders. Trying to avoid leg swinging, you're gonna bring your legs up to touch, both feet between the hands, making contact with the bar. If you don't have that full range of motion, bring your feet as high as you can, keeping that strict position. Finish with strict ring dips. 
If you don't have ring dips yet, feel free to modify these two push-ups. But if you have a set of rings available, we're gonna start at the top. So this is the ring support. Elbows are locked out. You're gonna lower your chest forward until the rings touch the biceps or shoulders. And then without kipping, press back up to extension. Small maintainable sets through the 21s, 15s, and then whatever you have left, try to push for the 9s.